Robert Solo is the first to claim that the economics department at MIT is the best sort of environment to work day in and day out. Tradition postulated that growth was based on capital and labor. Solo claimed that half of economic growth could not be explained by increases in the labor pool or goods sold. Technological innovation was its source. Solo also defined technology as how work is accomplished. In this broad sense, new technology can arise in a laboratory, on the shop floor, or by imitation. It is a learning process in rich and poor countries. His remarkable take on a changing economic world earned him the Nobel Prize. For his entire tenure at MIT, Solo's office neighbor was Paul Samuelson, whom he credits for his emergence into macroeconomics. The university remained Solo's academic anchor, enhanced by his interactions with colleagues and students. And in 1995, when students implored him to teach macro one more time before retiring, Professor Robert Solo could not refuse. <laughs>